Say good morning. Good morning. Say hi everyone. Hi everybody. <laughs> what? Should we go change your diaper? Good morning everyone. Welcome to today's video. Evie is grumpy because she's hungry. I'm getting it, honey. Yes, I'm getting it. So we're just doing some oatmeal and I like to put peanut butter in it as you guys probably have seen. And then also, um, I'm trying something new today because I saw a friend that also has a YouTube channel. She did this. And I thought it was so smart. Um, so I got these. I'm getting it, honey. I got these chia seeds, and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit in her oatmeal. So, yeah, well, I'm come on, I'm gonna go put her in her high chair. Ugh. You're grumpy. To what I was saying I'm just gonna put a little sprinkle of this in there just since chia seeds are so good for you so we'll see how that goes but usually with breakfast I kind of rotate between eggs and also I do some French toast sticks or oatmeal toast okay we'll try that I'm getting it honey She's not being patient. <laughs> but what toddler is? That was probably kind of a lot, wasn't it? Here we go. Mix it up. Okay. There's that. Let me get her bowl. Thank you for being so patient. Mommy's getting it, baby. So here's her bowl. And then tray and I'm just gonna scoop some in here she's doing really good about using utensils herself I'm so proud of her okay and then I bought these so like learning silverware off Amazon these have been really awesome okay so let's give her this here it comes Hi. Hi. You ready to eat this? Did you already drop your drink? The drops. Mmm, yummy. You gonna use your left hand? Oh, mommy's gotta get your bib. Okay, we got pray. Ready? Pray. Put your hands together. Here, put your spoon down. Okay, ready? Pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for all of your many blessings. I pray you bless this food to our bodies and let us have a really good day. In Jesus' name, amen. Something else we are trying that's new today is I'm trying this Go and Grow from Similac. It's for 12 to 36 months. I just found this on walmart.com. It's supposed to have just like a ton of good vitamins for them, for brain, for eyes, just for growing purposes. So it's really easy to use. I just fill our sippy cup up with water, put a scoop of this in, shake it up, and that's pretty much it. So we're trying that. We tried it for the first time yesterday and she didn't really seem to care too much so we'll see how she does this is kind of expensive so she does if she doesn't like this i'm not gonna get it again um 
I'll probably just do like regular almond milk or something, but I don't know, just trying something different. <laughs> You're so goofy. Oh gosh. The reason that I'm starting to use that Similac or almond milk or whatever ends up working for us is because we are no longer nursing. Last week was the last week that I think she's gonna nurse. She has done really, really well. For a while we were just doing morning and night and then it was just kind of night. And then for a little, about a week, it was like every two days, just for my sake, honestly. The hardest part has probably been nighttime because she really likes that to go to sleep. But I have been just giving her milk, just like regular 2%, just warming it up a little bit. That's been helping a little bit. She still fights me. Um, just because I know that's such a bonding thing, which it makes me so sad to think that I'm not gonna be nursing her anymore. Like she's a big girl, it's just, it's so weird. She is 17 months, so we just about made it to a year and a half. I truly, truly enjoyed nursing. Like, I, I loved it. Take a sip of my coffee here. Um, ooh, that's hot. I was so blessed to be able to nurse her for that long. And I hope that with every baby that I will be able to do that. My plan was to just go a year and we went a little further than that, but that's okay. Now I'm going to enjoy my cup of coffee and then we'll probably go hang out on the front porch. It's been so beautiful in the mornings, just like very, oh, just the air has been so crisp and it's just, it's feeling like fall. Just nice, cool mornings are just my favorite. So it is now almost 11 o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and start lunch. TJ will be here at, he gets off at around 11.30, so just a little bit after that. But for lunch for Everly today, I'm going to be doing these uh, organic Simply Smart chicken nuggets. They're like a dinosaur shape, I think, yeah. So I already preheated the oven to four 25, I'm pretty sure is what it said. Get my pan out. Just use canola oil. So she doesn't eat a whole lot of these, maybe three. This is a little more expensive, but it lasts me a while because she doesn't eat like, you know, a normal adult human. Okay, and then also I'm going to be cooking some broccoli and then giving her some blueberries. So how I cook my broccoli, I had the hardest time figuring out how I like to cook broccoli, but I figured out the best way is to use my Instapot and do it manual for zero seconds because I've done one minute and it's way too cooked. They just are falling apart. So that's what we're gonna do. I love my Instapot, it's freaking awesome. But then I just use, well, some vegetable broth. Just a little bit, because you don't want to take all the nutrients out of the broccoli. And then just a few. And I'll eat a few of these too, so I'll stick a little bit extra for me to eat. Also, I'm just going to add some salt and a little bit of pepper. And that is it. Turn it to sealing. Annual zero minutes. Voila. <laughs> it 
So here is our lunches. So Everly has her chicken and her blueberries and her broccoli. And then I just made myself a avocado egg sandwich. I freaking, I know it's not the prettiest, but it's so good. It's just cheese, turkey, avocado, and eggs. It's, it's like my favorite. And then TJ, he just wanted a regular sandwich. He's weird. He likes Miracle Whip, pickles, ketchup, cheese, and turkey. So whatever. But he'll probably eat some chips with it. And I'll probably put a few blueberries on my plate. I already ate some for bro broccoli. So yeah, but that's our lunch. Is that good? I just gave her some juice. <laughs> you don't got a whole lot of room, do you, baby? There you go. Mmm. -hmm. Yummy? Bup. Yeah? You eat it. You eat it. PJ's home. Mama, mama. What? Clap, clap. Oh, clap. Okay. okay. Who, are you, who are you blowing kisses to? Oh, okay. All right, you guys. It is now snack time it's almost four which usually i do snack time around three but we went to the park and didn't get back in until just a little bit later she was having fun so it's all good um but now i'm sure she is very ready for a snack and i'm going to be doing these right here they're just graham crackers chocolate chunks natural cheese and dried cranberries and raspberry oh raspberry flavored dry cranberries okay interesting but she really likes this mostly for the cheese which i'm so happy she can eat cheese tj was lactose intolerant growing up and like bad lactose intolerant like he couldn't have any dairy mommy's getting it i'm getting it Ooh, here's your juice yeah you want this okay mommy's getting it i'm almost done and then i'm also going to give her some avocado I'll probably just put it on some bread because I just have some left over from what I ate today. I'll probably just cut the crust off because she doesn't really like crust. She tastes the crust and she's like, mm, I'm over it, mom. Typical toddler for you. Let's get some avocado. This avocado is mm. real nice, Evie. It's a good avocado. Mama. I know. I'm getting it, honey. <laughs> Hopefully she'll eat this. We'll see. Sometimes you just never, ever know. Mama. I know. Just a tiny bit. Some pepper. Okay. Snack time for Evie. Ooh. Ooh, snack time. Okay, come on. And now for my snack, I am going to be having some of my wellness protein. So this is by Teamy. You guys know I've talked about them before. They're awesome. Love working with them. Such great people. But they just sent over this new product and I've been uh, using it for a few weeks now, I think. Um, but this is their their organic protein like powder and guys it tastes really good it just tastes like I'm drinking chocolate <laughs> it's really delicious protein is so good to make sure you have it in your diet you need it for your muscles your bone your skin you need it to produce you need it to help you produce hormones in your body enzymes in your body enzyme enzymes enzymes yeah <laughs> and you need it to help just a bunch of other chemicals in your body so make sure you are getting your protein and this is why i love teamy because i am very focused on everly's diet and not so much my own it's very easy for me to forget to be healthy for myself not just everly so i love that teamy always keeps me in check and sends me over some awesome products so if you guys struggle with eating healthy and making sure you're getting in your greens i love this one still or, or your protein definitely check them out also i'm not gonna lie 
I want to be honest with you guys protein protein powders can be chalky this one is the best one i would say but it still has that bit of a chalky feeling um so something else you can do is bake with it so i'll link some recipes down below that she sent me over to try and i still need to try them um, but you can just do it in cookies or brownies or really anything and so then you won't have that chalky feeling but if you're not super picky, then I mean, it's easy. I'll just put it in some water today in my tumbler, which these are awesome. I haven't really talked about these so much, but these are the tumblers, tumblers. Gosh, I am just struggling to talk today. But these are the tumblers that they sell. I just got mine in white, um, but I really like them because, because they have a filter on top. Do you need more cheese, baby? And then something else that's really cool. What, honey? what what okay i'll be right back <laughs> back to what i was saying um what was i saying oh yeah tumbler so something else that's really cool about this is the bottom twists off so that you can keep like any other kind of powders in here and store it and then just bring it with you on the go so this is super handy and also really cute if i might add but if you guys do want to give this a go, I do have a discount code. You guys can use M 20 for 20% off any order above 39, I think. I'll make sure to link all the information down below if you guys do want to check it out. But I highly recommend it because, I mean, it's always good to stay healthy. Am I right? It's now the end of the day and it's time for dinner. Everly's looking like it's the end of the day. <laughs> Her hair is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, and I just give up. Yeah, tortillas. Tortillas. Can you say tortillas? Uh, okay, you're gonna hold that. That's uh, very crinkly. Uh, Here, hold something else that's not so crinkly. And hold this. There you go. I'm going to do fajitas. All you need Mama, is... Mama. What, this? Okay. Here you go. Okay. All you're going to need is some bell peppers, then just some kind of fajita flavoring, Mama. seasoning, an onion. Yeah. Then you're going to need chicken and tortillas. And then I'm also going to cook some rice. Mama, Mama. What? You don't need the salsa. Here. Hold this. Go. <laughs> I'm gonna cook my chicken in the Instapot and I just make sure that it's thawed and then I put it on manual for seven minutes and make sure it's on sealing. And then while that's cooking, I'm just gonna chop up some bell peppers and onions. After that is done, I'm gonna shred the chicken. I like to shred it because it makes it easier for Everly to eat. I don't have to worry about really cutting anything up. So then I'm just gonna cook the chicken in the pan with some canola oil, and then I'll also toss in the bell peppers. I have to cook the onions separate because TJ hates onions, so if I want some, I have to make sure it's separate. Okay, you're gonna have to get down. Mommy can't hold you and do it at the same time. You're too crazy. Here, play with this. Play with this. Okay. Whew, she's so heavy. And then I'm gonna add the sauce, stir that in for another three minutes until the bell peppers are like a crisp soft if that makes sense um and that's pretty much it on that and then i'll just saute the onions by itself and then i will cook the rice but i'm just using regular plat pat blah, blah, blah. i'm just using like regular mexican packaged rice nothing too fancy um but yeah so 
that's what we're doing for dinner. Do you approve? Is that yummy? <laughs> we're good. You want some more? <laughs> you are so goofy. So that is kind of typically what we eat in a day. Obviously, it switches up every day a little bit, but that's like a normal day for us. I try to cook like two to three times a week, and then other times we either go to TJ's parents or we go out or we eat leftovers. I'm not the greatest cook. I will cook whatever is easiest and healthy. Thank you guys for watching this video and thank you so much for supporting my little family. It really means so much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll hopefully see you in our next one. Bye guys. Say bye. Bye guys. Oh, okay. Missing someone. Missing someone.